How's it going guys? Uh, it's late. Quick video here. Very quick. Um, just want to say a few things. Now you guys know why I didn't pick Sergei Kovalev to beat Andre Ward from the very beginning. Now you guys know. Because I knew this would happen. I told you guys this would happen from day one. There was no fucking way that they were going to let Sergei Kovalev win this fight. Uh, a disgusting decision, as we all knew it was, uh, American boxing, and you know, but boxing has always been bent to a certain degree, but now it's worse than ever, I mean, Sergey Kovalev, guys, th this was not a close fight, this was not a competitive fight, Sergey Kovalev not only won this fight, he dominated this fight, he won almost every round, alright, he had Andre Ward on the, on the end of his jab all night, backing up, uh, he was snapping his head back with the jab, uh, every time Ward got close, he, Ward was holding on for dear life, scared to death of engaging with Kovalev. Uh, Kovalev scored a knockdown. Uh, he he busted up Ward's nose. Uh, had Ward all had Ward all swollen up. You know, clearly outlanded him. Clearly outpunched him. Was the aggressor throughout. Uh, controlled the pace of the fight. Dominated him, but lost the fight by one point on every card. And and do you notice how all the judges were in collaboration? They all had it the exact same score. You know, Michael Buffer was reading it as as if to say, all right, let's just get this over with and just give it to Ward so everybody can just complain and be on with it. I mean, for fuck's sake, guys, this was one of the most bent, corrupt, and disgusting fights I've ever seen. Uh, the referee should be fucking ashamed of himself warning Sergei Kovalev every time Andre Ward held. The commentators, I watched it with British commentary, they should be fucking ashamed of themselves. There was moments in this fight where Kovalev would land a jab. And they would say, oh, great jab by Andre Ward. I'm not even kidding. Watch the fight with the British commentary. Paulie Malanagi and, and uh, who was it? Was it fucking Johnny Nelson or Adam C? It was one of those guys. It might have been Matthew Macklin. One of those dudes talking about, you know, they, they were giving Andre Ward credit for stuff that Sergei Kovalev was doing. And I said to you guys from day one, you can check out all my videos. They were never going to let a Russian defeat an Olympic gold medalist in America. Uh, an unbeaten one at that. They were never going to do it. This fight was bent. Uh, and Sergei Kovalev, fuck him. He's an idiot for taking this fight and for taking it in America. I said from day one, Sergei Kovalev needs to put his foot down and he needs to be the champion, stop being a, a B-side, and he needs to get the fight in Russia. But no, he decided to go to America. Very ignorant, very stupid. Fuck him. Uh, you know, and, and he's been robbed and it's it's his fault and it's obviously the judge's fault and... Whoever else, you know, the powers that be that want that want to keep these American fighters winning. Uh, damn right, disgrace to boxing. I'm pissed off. I'm going to go have a drink because I'm pissed off. And, and I knew this would happen, so I don't know why I'm pissed off. Uh, I said it would happen from day one. Yeah, disgusting fight. Disgusting. Uh, absolute robbery. Uh, any, anybody that thinks Andre Ward won this fight, go fuck yourself, okay? Unsubscribe to me right now. I don't, I don't even want to talk to you, okay? This was a robbery, uh, a disgraceful performance from, from Andre Ward, as, as always, with his cheating, with his illegal tactics, with his holding, and with his running away, and just, you know, not really that much punching. Uh, it was a good performance, technically, from Kovalev. Thought he could have done better, but, you know, he... He did enough to win the fight, they just never gave it him. They were never going to give it to him. And, uh, you know, Kovalev didn't even celebrate after the fight because he knew that this thing was predetermined. Okay, I don't know how much they paid Kovalev behind the scenes, but I'm guessing he got a nice retirement package out of this. Uh, I'm done with this video, guys. Uh, God bless you all. Good night.